Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Mike and I'm one half of Mida Travel. Today I'm going to be looking at Morella Cruises, Flavours of the Caribbean and Pride of Panama. In particular I'm going to be looking at what excursions are available in each of the ports and what prices they are charging. Uh, I'll also be showing what decisions I have made and the picks that we have decided to go with and the places where we have decided to do our own thing or book our own thing. So I will start with Flavours of the Caribbean. Before I do, can I kindly ask, uh, we are a new channel and it would give us a massive boost if you would hit the subscribe button, uh, the like button if you enjoy the content and the bell if you would like to receive uh, notifications of our future videos, which will include a comprehensive catalogue of videos from Morella Discovery 2. And excitingly, being away at Christmas, uh, we will also do uh, a video of exactly what it's like to be on a cruise ship on Christmas Day. So I will start with Flavours of the Caribbean. Uh, this is the cruise control page on TUI website when you go into manage my booking. At the top you will see a total price as you add things uh, then the accumulator will build up your price. Uh, you do pay this when you leave this page, uh, not at the end of the uh, cruise like I initially thought. So day one, we are in Jamaica, obviously boarding, so no excursions day one or day two where we're at sea. Day three, we're in Cozumel. If we look quickly at the excursions in Cozumel, we will see that there are seven available and we are in port from 0700 hours to 1800 hours. I will click on each of these and pause for a few seconds so that you can pause them and read the information if you're interested in that trip. Uh, we'll start with the mini speedboat, snorkel and beach experience. Make sure I get all that in for you. And you will see that it's important to read the important information. You will get age restrictions and any other information that might uh, be an important part uh, in your decision as to whether to go with this trip or not. And number two, Cochumel highlights. And I will pause that one very briefly for you. Number three, Tulum Mayan Ruins and Beach. Tulum looks absolutely beautiful. And the beach there is supposed to be fantastic. I've never been to Tulum, but, uh, and I won't be going this time either, but hopefully sometime in the future. We do like Mexico. Uh, a lot of information on there, so make sure you read that. We have Mayan Ruins and Beach. I think it's interestingly on this one, uh, I didn't know that you had to pay 8 to $10 charge for the use of a video camera in all areas of the ruins. Flashbulbs, tripods and professional video equipment are prohibited. Must be good reason. And... Chichen Itza, very famous site. I haven't been. Uh, it's a 10 hour trip if you wanted to book that. Uh, probably a little bit too long for me. Um, so we, we're not going to do Chichen Itza. And Jelhar, I did Jelhar about five years ago. If you've never been, then I can wholeheartedly recommend it. It's a fabulous place. I will probably always remember lazing down the river on an inner tube through the mangroves, sun coming through the trees. It was relaxing, calming, beautiful. Uh, food and everything there, the entertainment, uh, animals, everything was beautiful. So definitely think about it because it's a good one. And finally, if you are torn, but you want to do Tulum, then you can do Tulum and Shelhar. Um, there's the information on that one. So I'll let you pause that. 
Cozumel, we have decided not to do one of the ship excursions. We have booked with a local company and I will wait until we've been with them and I will do a video of our day out with them and obviously let you know and, and give you the name of the company if I think they're good. Uh, we are basically going on a boat. We're assured there's a maximum 12 people. We are going to two snorkeling spots. I do like to snorkel. And then we are going to a place called El Cielo, which is a beautiful reef, crystal clear water, uh, and loads of starfish. Uh, it looks absolutely beautiful, so I'm really looking forward to that. We have paid $100 for the two of us. We paid $34 up front, and the rest is paid as you get on the boat. Um, so, as I say, I will. we're saving a lot of money from any of the trips that the uh, Morella are doing, uh, but I will let you know uh, in a future video of our experience on that trip. Right, I think that was the final one for Cozumel. So if we now click forward on day four, we call in Havana. Now, we arrive at Havana at 1500 hours. So these trips are generally aimed for the evening. There are five available. We're in port, as I say, from 1500 hours and we have nearly all of the following day um, in Havana as well. So we have the Cabaret Tropicana, a paradise under the stars. I would imagine it would be very colourful, very lively uh, and a really good night. I do fear though that these cabaret shows are probably a little bit geared towards the tourist. I think we're going to give them a miss. We're going to walk into um, Havana in the evening, find some quiet restaurants, bars, and look for some more authentic um, local entertainment. Again, I will have my video camera with me and I will report back on how we found that. Uh, did I click on? Cabaret Parisian. In case I didn't, we'll do it again. Again, looks really colourful. We then have the cannon shot ceremony. Don't forget there are still important information on the bottom of each of these. Give you a second to pause that. We then have Cabaret Tropicana again, but this time in classic car. So if you fancy traveling in style to the show, then this is probably the one for you. Have I got all that info in? There we go. And if we go to the final one, it's Havana by night in a classic car. These classic cars look absolutely amazing and probably iconic to Havana. It's probably the first thing I think of. Um, but then I, I love cars, so that's probably why. Uh, Havana by night in a classic car is a two hour trip and it's £78 each uh, for each adult. And surprisingly, I was quite surprised that children are charged the same price, two till twelve. Um, which seems very expensive to me. So for two people, £156, um, if I've got my maths right. And I sort of have researched this because I quite fancied doing a, a tour in the classic car. And I think if you walk into Havana, there are so many cars and drivers that it will not be hard to find a car that you really like instead of having potluck which one turns up for you um, and being able to haggle a good price um, with the driver and I think you would probably get it for half the price that you would be paying or I would if my, my, me and my partner had gone I reckon we would have spent half the money if we went into town and haggled ourselves. I have heard that some drivers uh, can be aggressive um, and can be hard to agree a price, but I'm sure they're really going to want the business. 
But if you're concerned about that, then have a look on the internet. We found sites that you could pre-book with them um, two, three hour journeys, very highly rated on TripAdvisor. And again, I think they were charging about £60 pound, uh, approximately um, for that. So it may well be worth looking into that yourself. If I go on to the next day, come out of there. And if we go into our second day in Havana, as you can see, we're there all day until 2200 hours. The Havana highlights in classic cars are sold out. So I think if you are doing this cruise in the next few months and you want to do this, as soon as you see it available, then book it because it's obviously a popular tour. But what I've just said probably would make sense. Look on the internet, find a local company and book it through them. Then you have Easy Havana. which is a three hour excursion. And then you have Havana Highlights, which is a four hour excursion. Right, okay, we have decided, as I say, we're gonna walk into town in the evening, try and soak up the atmosphere um, in local bars and find a good restaurant. And then the following day, we're gonna hit Havana by foot and see as much as we can. Not sure whether I will get the classic car now. I think probably we will just admire them from afar and get lots of pictures. And then after Cuba, we have booked only one thing this first cruise, and that is the speciality dining on day six. I'll show you these so you can see the prices. I will be doing full video review of both restaurants and whether I actually think it's worth the price that you pay. Um, Surf and Turf is £31.95 each. Um, from the last information I found, that has gone up £5. And Coralar has gone up a similar sort of price at £26.95. Um, people that have spoken and experienced these, whose reviews I've seen, all say that they are excellent. So hopefully we will have a similar experience. And finally, our last port of call is Georgetown Cayman Islands. And again, there are seven excursions. Time in port 0800 to 1800 hours. And we have cruise along Seven Mile Beach. Again, um, no warnings on that. £40 each. We have decided not to book any of these trips. We are going to walk to Seven Mile Beach. Um, we quite like walking. Um, hopefully it won't be too hot or humid and um, do our own thing. Because I do think some of these trips, £40 is quite a lot just to run you up and down the beach. Second one, Seven Mile Beach Express. I'll let you pause that one to have a look at. Some beds and umbrellas not included, but you can rent them uh, locally for an additional charge. As I say, there is also, uh, when I was doing my research, we are going to probably walk to Seven Mile Beach. I think it's about three kilometers to the start of it, but there's a very good video on YouTube. If you search how to get to Seven Mile Beach by bus um, from Georgetown, then somebody actually walks through the whole procedure and you can walk into Georgetown and get the bus, which will take you anywhere along the Seven Mile Beach. Um, and it's only, it's only a few dollars, I think, to, to actually take that bus. Uh, where was I? Stingray City. Let you do that one. And then we go to Grand Cayman Island Tour. A few seconds for you to hit the pause button on that. A few 
you want to read it. Then we have cultural art and tasting tour. Again, I'll pause that one. Cayman Cultural Express. Give you a second on that one. And finally, this one looks nice. Stingray City and Barrier Reef Sightseeing Cruise. I think I might have been tempted by this one had it not been for the fact that you can't swim with the stingrays. You can only view them from the boat. And I'm sure that's still a spectacular sight and something I would really enjoy. But I don't know whether it's the same not being able to get in the water and swim around them. But uh, as I say, we've decided we're going to walk along, enjoy the beach and uh, try and walk along the whole seven miles. Um, I'd have to walk a bit fast, but um, I do have my moments. OK, and if we come back out of there, I think that more or less covers part one um in day eight we're back into montego bay i will do the excursions available there in part two so if you'd like to see the rest the pride of panama excursions then please look for part two many thanks for joining me i hope this has been useful i'm mike and we are mida travel take care